So this is a fabric all right already cut out but I'm going to tell you the measurements we need for it this is the side which is the body of the turban it's measuring 13 and a half inches all right 13 and a half and the head circumference I'm using is 24 24 inches right 24 inches and you need it in two places so this is one and this is one the same measurements right and then you fold it this way the back side this is the inner side of the fabric okay you fold it into two like this all angles to be equal all right you fold it like this and then fold the other one so the same way like this after folding you take one of the piece and cross it to the other like this all right you cross it like this right and then you bring this part you bring this part and make it to meet with the other parts yeah all right and then you clip or you pin It. and then you bring this other part all right this other part and make it meet with this other parts also like you did on the first one like this right and then you either clip or you pin but I'm going to clip mine because my pins are not available right now okay So I'll take this part again for better understanding, okay? I'll just remove the clip again. All right. Remember I said you fold your fabric into two like this, right? Both of them. After folding into two like this, the wrong side facing each other right you get one of the piece and place it right on the middle crossing it right on the middle of the one that is already laid on your table this way okay this way 
on the middle so i've gotten my paints because the clip wasn't working the fabric is a bit thicker than <coughs> the clip i haven't crossed it this way you will get this end okay this end and then bring it to this end like this huh? are you following and then you pin it down okay you get this other end of the other fabric this one and then you cross it over to this other part right this way and then you pin it down adjusting it properly right adjusting it properly use your pin to hold it okay so you get to the end because that's the part you are going to sew So you do the same to this other part. Remember, this is the first part we pinned. You use your pin to hold it down properly. So you get to this middle as closely as you can get. Okay? So you get here. And now this is what we have yeah this part and this part do we understand how we got there this part and this part so you're going to take it to your sewing machine now and run a straight stitch from here to here which is this middle where you have the twist and then you do the same too to the other side from here to here okay this is the middle where you have the twist so i'll quickly do that now and then get back to us all right so this is what we have after sewing this is the sewn part right this part and then this part and this is what we have afterward okay spread out this is the twisted area now we've just achieved please if you've not subscribed to our channel kindly do that and don't forget to tap on the notification bell so you get notified each time we drop a new video okay all right so at this point you are going to take this end and then this end bring it together take it to your sewing machine again okay and run a straight stitch from here to here okay a straight stitch if you have a saja a saja is usually best for fabrics like this but in the absence of saja you just make use of or make do of what you have okay you shouldn't um saja or no saja shouldn't be a limitation or a barrier for you okay so you just run a straight stitch from here so here which is the twisted area this middle is a twisted area okay so we're just going to run a straight stitch right now I've run my stitch okay and this is what we have we are almost done with this piece two more steps and then we're done okay this is the front part as you can see it's already twisted already right 
let me lay it for you to see okay so this is what we have this is the front part already formed so at this point we are going to bring both ends together again like this okay this point now is what is left we'll run another straight stitch from here to here do we understand from here to here okay so we've run our stitch and at this point we are done with this piece the only thing that is left for us to do is to take a needle and a matching thread and then run the regular stitch we usually do to form that gathers at the back of our turban hearts okay so this is the point this last part we just sewed is the point where you are going to run that stitch on all right loose stitch If you know this video has been of tremendous help to you, kindly subscribe, like, share with your friends and with people you think would have a need for it. Okay, I want to say a very big thank you to our subscribers. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you very much. There's so much for you to learn. If you are an existing subscriber, thank you so very much. Look forward to our videos. Uh, um, kindly look forward to uh, educating videos on trending styles on fascinator turbans auto gilly heart making cloth making and what have you and if you have any question bothering your mind don't forget to drop it on the comments box below okay kindly subscribe don't forget to click on the notification button to get notified each time we drop a new video and when you're done with this is the gather parts at the back okay and this is the twisted parts in front All right thank you and god bless stay tuned i won't be afraid for you are here you silence all my fears